Welcome back to A Taste of K. I'm back with another cooking video, and today I'll be making some stewed cow feet, which is known as ragu piebef in Haitian Creole. Stay tuned. About a year ago, I did make a video on how I make ragu pie cochon, which is the stewed pig feet. And recently I did get a question from Loons22, and they stated, do you use the same process for cow feet ragu? So I decided to go ahead and make a video, and I pretty much use the same process. The ingredients I'll be using to prepare this dish is one cow foot. I'll also be using two tablespoons of epis, four carrots, one habanero pepper, two tablespoons of tomato paste, bell peppers, two branches of celery, half of a white onion, a few sprigs of thyme, half of a lime, half teaspoon ground clove, one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon Creole seasoning, as well as a pot of boiling water to cook the meat. This was only one cow foot. It was about three and a half pounds. I did have the butcher cut it into medium sized pieces. I cleaned it with some lime vinegar as well as boiling water. To marinate, I'm going to use some ground clove, bell pepper, onion and celery, epis, half of a lime, some Creole seasoning, as well as salt. If you'd like to see a video how I make my Haitian epis, which is basically a green seasoning, you can go ahead and click the link in the description box below. After mixing all these seasonings into the cow feet, making sure that every piece is covered, I'm going to add a few sprigs of thyme as well as one habanero pepper. I'm going to allow this to marinate for about four hours, but it's even better if you have time to allow it to marinate overnight. When I'm stewing meat, I hardly ever use any oil because the meat itself, once it starts to cook, it will start to render its own fat. In a pot that has been heated, I'm going to add the marinated cow foot. I'm going to cover and allow it to cook for about 15 minutes. I do have the temperature on medium high. After 15 minutes, the meat has started to render its own liquid. But the bowl I was using to marinate the meat, I'm going to add one cup of water to it and then add that water to the pot. And I'm going to cover and allow to cook for 30 minutes on medium high. While this meat is cooking, I do have another pot on the stove where I'm boiling water that is going to be used to cook this meat. Now this is not one of those dishes that you cook when you're pressed for time. It's not a 30 minute dish and you're ready to eat. This takes some time. This is after 45 minutes that the meat has been cooking on medium high heat. Now I'm going to take this pot of boiling water and I'm going to cover the meat with it. I'm going to place the lid. I'm going to turn the temperature down to a medium heat. I'm going to allow this to cook for about one hour or until the liquid is almost gone. Now this is how the meat looks after it have been cooking for one hour after I added the pot.
pot of water. When I say pot of water, it's about eight cups of water. So what I'm doing now is removing the habanero pepper. I do not want it to burst and have the food extra spicy. I'm going to give it a quick taste to see if I need to make any adjustments. Since the liquid is already low, I'm going to add the two tablespoons of tomato paste and allow the tomato paste to cook. You wanna remove that raw tomato taste. I allow the tomato paste to cook for about five minutes. As you can see, I'm going to check the meat to see how tender it is. It's not how I want it falling off the bone. So I did have the second pot of water, which is about eight cups of water that is boiling. And I'm going to add this eight cups of water into the pot. Now this is one of those dishes. If you're pressed on time, you could use a pressure cooker to help speed up the process. Will it taste the same? I'm not sure. I'd rather cook it low and slow and get it nice and tender and also have all of that flavor. After adding the second pot of water to the cow foot, I'm going to cover, allow it to cook for another hour on medium heat. Now we're getting closer to the finish line. The meat is nice and tender, starting to fall off the bone. All I have to do now is add the sliced carrot, basically allow the carrots to cook and allow the broth to thicken. Now here is the finished product of the stewed cow feet, which is known as Gagu Piebef in Haitian Creole. As you can see, the broth is nice and thick. The meat is falling off the bone, very tender. The carrot is cooked through. If you'd like to see what I serve the stew cow feet with, also known as the Gagu Piebef, go ahead and watch to the end of the video. But at this time, I wanna say thank you for stopping by A Taste of K. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Feel free to share these videos with your friends and family to help the channel grow. Once again, thank you for stopping by A Taste of K. I'll see you in the next video.